Brothers and sisters, Happy New Year and Happy Feast of the Epiphany of our Lord. Now, may I not write the baptism of our Lord. Deum, deum, we say. And speaking of New Year, Happy New Year, um, I've lived through 61 New Year's days, I've been reflecting. And for nearly 50 of those, um, I think I've made a resolution. And for most of those 50 resolutions, um, I think within a couple of weeks or a month, I think I gave up. And the reason why when I reflect about it is because they were my resolutions. They weren't resolutions, I think, that I made in prayer. They weren't with God. And also I didn't really share it and get this, try to get the support of others. And the third, it was mostly about me. Hmm. So how can we make resolutions that are going to lead us to a happier New Year? We wish each other a happy New Year. Millions of people have done that. How, how really are we going to bring happiness to others and to have a happy New Year? I think we need to take Jesus as the model in taking a resolution. Uh, the Gospel we heard on Sunday, Jesus is at the Last Supper and he's about to make the resolution that he has made the resolution that he will go to the cross. He will suffer and die, sacrifice his life to bring us salvation, the gift of the resurrection and salvation. How did he do that? Well, first thing, he made his resolution one with the Father. Under the will of the Father, he knew it was the will of the Father and he trusted the Father. That's the same for us. What resolution am I thinking to do? Pray more, lose weight, get fit, uh, be more patient, work on this, work on that. What is it? Have I, put, have I asked God in prayer, is this your will? What's your will for me? Have I prayed about it? And trust him to help me with you. Trust him to give the grace to help you with it. The second thing is with the support of others. Have I mentioned it to others and I asked them for support? Have I said to them, you know, pray for me? Or, you know, yeah, I'd like to, like to ask you what your thoughts are, you know, to share about them, get their support. And the third thing is I've got an intention with it that it's going to bring benefit to others. So if, for instance, simple thing, if I am wanting to be healthy, I do want to lose weight, I want to be healthier, that I'm thinking, well, the reason I want to be healthy, yeah, it's good for me, but also I'll have more energy and be able to be more patient, more loving and be able to help others. And also if I have discipline on how I eat and setting time for exercise, that, yeah, I can be actually more disciplined in setting my time for God, for prayer and my life, have a better structure for my life. And that will have a fruit for others. That will have fruit for others at work, at home, if I do that. Other resolutions that fit under the Jesus model is, for instance, if we commit to the catechism in a year to listening to that beautiful podcast um, so that we will hear the teachings of Christ a little bit every day through Father Mike Schmitz and a reflection what a wonderful resolution that is. That's with Christ, with the support of others. So many are doing it all together and it's going to have a fruit of your mission, your love for others in your life. Also, Alpha, what a great way to also, uh, what a great thing to do for the res your resolution, you know, to do the 11-week Alpha course. You do it with the support of others. You want to grow closer to Christ. It's under his will and there's going to be fruit and love for others. So what if I ask you, how are you going to feel in three months' time? Where will your resolution be? If it's under Christ, trusting him, his grace, and the will of the Father, and if it's with the support of others, good faith friends, and you're doing it for love, you're going to be there. Again, Happy New Year, DMD.